Hello everybody, Sly StarCraft here with a Zerg vs. Protoss live game. Check out my awesome portrait, StarCraft Master's portrait, so cool. Uh, I'm doing another live game on Shakira's Plateau. My opponent is Rev Dime. And, um, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I missed! Ah! Oh my god, that was an awful split. That was worse split than a banana split. <laughs> Ring, 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 banana split. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be going 11 pool because that's what I do against Protoss. Hopefully, my Fraps frame rate will stay at 60 <laughs> FPS, as you can see there, 59, 60. Because it makes it a lot easier to play. It's weird, my frame rate when I'm using Fraps is higher than when I'm streaming, which doesn't make sense because Fraps is like a beast. It creates 4 gigabyte files every one and a half minutes. Like, how is that less intensive than streaming? And it bugs me. That's kind of part of the reason I, I haven't been streaming much anymore. I just cannot play at my peak while I'm streaming, and it's really obnoxious. It's a lot of frustration, and then I rage, and then I pick my nose and eat it, and it just doesn't go well. But, uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy these live games, as well as uh, my tips and tricks, and of course my new Wikicast series. Annoying to some, hilarious to all. That doesn't make sense, whatever. Anyway. Um, so let's see if he is in the top right. Of course he cannot spawn in the bottom left on Shakira, so he cannot spawn in those locations. So I'll know where to send my links if he is not in the top right. Or if he is in the top right, I'll know where to send my links. Crazy! Looks like he has scouted me, so he's probably in the top right. I think that's where Protoss would scout first, right? I don't know. But he probably saw my pool. He's gonna be going... See, I don't understand why Protoss still come down here and try to block the hatchery and like be annoying and stuff when they see such a fast pool. It's like a lot of them just don't recognize that they need to adjust their play to, you know, this fast of a pool. I don't understand it. It's, it's, it's called being stupid. It's called Protoss players being useless at the game. So, yeah. The only person I've ever seen actually react to seeing an 11 pool was in control when I played him because he's actually an intelligent player. But most Protoss, you know, they just go through the motions because their race is that easy. Oh, sorry, you're complaining about Protoss again. Shut the fuck up. I don't give a shit. You try playing fucking Zerg, piece of shit. Fuck off. Jesus. And he does cancel it. He creates another one, which is kind of stupid. I don't know why he would do that. Um, he's just going to get beaten down really fast. We require more minerals. Again, Protoss being stupid. It's like, oh, I'm gonna cancel this and then make another one, even though, like, you're sending lings. Fucking retards. But, it doesn't matter, because they can just make a bunch of gateway units, press the F button, and click all around your army and win anyway, so, uh, you know. Then just goes the jelly beans. I should just start six pulling toss. That'd be awesome. They can't really deal with six pulls. I've seen a lot of six pulls, and you always end up killing the forge and the pylon, and then, like, you have to reset the game from that point on, but, uh, I don't know. I don't really like having to resort to that kind of tactic to win the game, so I probably will never uh, be six pulling in my entire life. Overlord is a bit late, so I had to extract her trick to get it back up there. This guy thinks he's gonna get out, but he's not. What are you, where the fuck are you going? Stupid. So, so, what are you gonna scout? What are you going to scout? Jesus. Just doesn't make sense. Roachling all in or something? Is that what you're afraid of? I don't know. We require more minerals. Let's transfer my drones and just keep making drones. What? What? A third? You're gonna scout a third? Why would I have a third this early? Well, I guess I could have a third this early. Okay, that makes sense. Still. Did he die? I guess I could get a third this early. I always forget to make overlords. So bad. So this queen is going to be dropping some tumors and also be uh, my queen for my third once it completes. I don't think he's been able to get a probe out, right? I saw the only one that he tried to send out, I believe. So that's good. Alright, so I'm going to do about 40 drones. Let's uh, get some gas. I'm going to start my lair first. And 
fly this guy in to see what the gas is looking like. If he's not really taking gas, I'm gonna get a roach war and prepare for uh, zealots. He's got a couple sentries, so no gas. I want to get a roach war. Move down some more creep tumors. See, now this game timings are going a lot better than last game because I actually did a real 11 pool and I didn't send my links trying to get some uh, um, cheap advantage by running by. Okay, avoid Ray. He's going to reveal that already. So, I will still get a lair. I will get an evolution chamber. So there's another queen. I'll just get a... Uh, Oh, we killed that overlord. Once my evolution chamber completes, I'll just get like one spore at each base. He's probably gonna, he might be able to kill that base, this third. I'll try to stop it, but I don't know if I'll be able to. I should have two links here, and then the rest of the links should be on the outside. So, we go there. You guys are gonna build spores, because when there's, uh, um, void rays, they almost always go for your third. With them. Link speed is overdue, um, melee attack, get one spore in my main, and one in my natural, and now drone up. Hopefully he won't have a strong gateway force because he's getting um, so many void rays, or because he's getting void rays at all. Okay, you're good, you're good, I can start rallying to my third. Um, queen is up, seven. Lair is up. Spire. We I actually am kind of worried about um, him having a pylon in that third base. Oh, there's his board race. See? He always goes for the third with the board race. I wish I could see what he was doing. He's getting, moving out with some sentries. Uh, I, I am getting roach speed. I'm just going to start pumping some roaches. Need to get overlords as well. This creep is really going to help. We require more unacceptable Spawn more overlords. Spawn. Got a lot of mineral economy. I just need fucking overlords. Spawn. Come on! We require men to spawn more He's only sending sentries. There's the pylon, so the for next weapon is going to be a while. No, I don't really care about killing that pylon right now. Hopefully my roach speed gets done in time. It's pretty close to being done. Might lose my third, but even if I do, um, I feel like I'm still gonna be in okay shape. Well, not after that. God, force fields are so fucking broken. Why is he able to do this much damage? Oh my goodness. So fucking bad. Really? This is fucking awful. None of my drones got out. Of course not. Why would they? What sense would that make? No more force fields? Wow, suck a dick, you fucking cocksucker. on my larva. So he's not taking a third, so that was just a two base superstar move. As usual. Mutation complete. 
Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm concentrating on stupid ass race. Ah, <sighs> and he'll just force field some more. When are the force fields going to end? Get shit on, you fucking toss piece of shit. Why do I have so much money? Gotta be shitting me. Blink stalkers. Blink stalkers, so good. All my probes are, or my drones are dead, or all my lings, really? God, this is so fucking stupid. You cannot fucking tell me that this is not the most retarded fucking thing happening right now. It's like, I can do what with my units compared to him force fielding, blinking, finding every fucking little concave he can. Oh, but Sai, you're trickling in your units. Yeah, I'm trying to save my fucking hatchery, you retards. My units don't fucking regenerate their health like his. Not like fucking as fast as the fucking shields, dude. Jesus fucking Christ. This is so fucking retarded how easy it is to play Protoss. I don't give a shit. Fuck you guys. Oh, it's so it's so easy to play Zerg. Fuck this piece of shit fucking game. Alright, I just want to show you guys the resources lost tab on times 8 speed. So far I've lost one Ling. He's lost two probes. But let's wait until the actual fighting happens and tell me how this fucking makes sense. Well, if you micro better, you're not going to lose so many units. Well, if you go around and flank side, then you'll be a lot better off. Shut the fuck up. You guys don't know what the fuck you're talking about. None of you are even diamond. Don't give me advice. I don't need you fuckers giving me advice. All right, let's let's walk it, watch it skyrocket. Oh, oh, he's lost a thousand. Oh, he's lost 1,200. I've lost 4,400 fucking resources. Oh, finally, I get past his goddamn force field, still 2,200 resources behind, but of course he's able to kill my hatchery. Oh, 58, 59 to 3,200. Oh, 6,000 to 3,200. His units are so fucking goddamn cheap. Oh, 67 to 3,300. I've lost over twice as much units 
resources worth of units. Oh, oh, watch it skyrocket. 10,000, 11,000. Look, look how much this is going up. Hardly at all. 14,000, 15,000. I've lost 16,000, 17,000 resources. 18,000 compared to his 9,000. 19,000, 24, 20,400 resources lost compared to 10,000 resources. This game is fucking awful.